Yes! Hello friends and welcome back to yet another Bofox unboxing from Fairylude. I have just received their April box themed hidden identities and this means they are up to speed. So let's hope that this is a new trend because I have had a lot of shipping delays with almost every subscription box. In the April box, we can expect items inspired by From Blood and Ash, The Lord of the Rings, The City of Brass, Flame in a Mist, and a foil bookmark set. I am excited for this box, especially the Lord of the Rings item. And if you are too, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. I hit my chair when I did that move. I'm so sorry about the dark vibes. That's not intentional. It is just really cloudy today. And in order for me to like have consistent lighting, I need to close all the blinds. And that leaves me with a very dark background and shadows. I can, can I? Before we dive into this box, a big thank you to my patrons. You help me keep this channel running. And if you feel like it's something for you, then definitely come join us. Just head over to patreon.com and type in my name, Leanna Brooks, or click on the link in my description. Okay, let's do this. The Fairy Loot April box. When we open it, we can see that the spoiler card is on top with the art of the month, hidden identities, princess by day, assassin by night, apparently. <laughs> and beneath that, the items. I have seen a tote bag, so I'm gonna grab that item first. Let's see we've got lots of color this tote bag is inspired by the blood and ass book series i haven't read the books but i've seen the third book all over bookstagram so that one is called the crown of gilded bones and all three of her books get really high ratings on goodreads i feel like these books aren't even on my tbr should I add them? Have you read them? Are they any good? I mean, according to Goodreads, they are. On one side, we can see a male and female. They look quite royal and they are probably the main characters of this book series. And on the other side, a pattern in blue. Because I don't know the book series, I'm not really that excited about this tote bag because I feel like when you put characters on a tote bag, you should probably have read the book. But I mean, it looks really cool. It's good quality and we all need more tote bags, so. Next up is a little white bag. Ooh, it is soap. Cherry Blossom Soap inspired by Flame in the Mist by Renee Ajay. Why did I go there? I just, just leave out the author's name because <laughs> people can read. Even though it's a little bit crooked, I like the label. I want to say it's a phoenix, but it's probably just a tropical bird because I see Harry Potter and everything. Nursing soap for the hands and body, vegan friendly and cruelty free. Oh, it smells really nice, really fresh. I think it's exactly how you would imagine cherry blossom soap to smell. I do think the presentation of this item could have been a little bit better or maybe that the soap had something engraved in it, but still I'm, I'm really happy with it. I have spotted the foil bookmark, so let's take a look at them. Ooh, these are gorgeous. It's just the gold foiling. I don't know. You, you just add gold foiling to an item and it just makes it look so much better. These bookmarks are inspired by the Poppy War, Blood Air, and an amber in the ashes. Next item is a little brown paper bag and that usually means we have got a bookish pin. And I'm really excited about that because you can see my bookish pin banner over here and it needs more pins. So let's find out what is in this bag. Ooh, I love this. I think this is the item inspired by City of Brass. So the enamel pin is inspired by, and I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly, the Davey Bot trilogy. It's this beautiful gold and red pin. I think we can see a tower and then wrapped around the tower is a quote, greatness takes time. This is definitely a great addition to my bookish pin banner. Okay, I think we have one more item left, so that means it will be the Lord of the Rings item. I think these are bookends. I wanted bookends for such a long time, but it's not a necessity, so I just never bought them. Yes! Yes, this is amazing. We have got these beautiful metal bookends. They have this golden color and I feel like these could be inspired by the door to the Dwarven Kingdom. We rewatched the movie quite recently and I think it was Melon. This is definitely gonna be my favorite item, hands down. And the monthly tarot cards and these are inspired by Serpent and Dove. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. Those are all the items. Let's move on to the book pouch. <gasps> 
I can see purple sprayed edges. I love the color purple. The Prism Healer by Lynette Noni. And it's recommended by Sarah J Maas. Lynette Noni is a masterful storyteller and must read for any fantasy lover. You guys, look at that. It's a keyhole. I mean, just how this book looks makes me want to read it. Here at Salendorf, the only person you can trust is yourself. 17 year old Kiva Meriden is a survivor. For 10 years, she has worked as the healer in the notorious death prison, Salindov, making herself indispensable. Kept afloat by messages of hope from her family, Kiva has one goal and one goal only, stay alive. Then one day, the infamous rebel queen arrives at the prison on death's door and Kiva receives a new message, don't let her die, we are coming. The queen is sentenced to the trial by ordeal, a series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water, and earth, assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. Aware the sickly queen has little chance of making it through the trials alive, Kiva volunteers to take her place. If she succeeds, both she and the queen will be granted their freedom but no one has ever survived. And with an incurable plague sweeping Salindov, a mysterious new inmate fighting for Kiva's heart and a prison rebellion brewing, Kiva can't escape the terrible feeling that her trials have only just begun. This sounds like another thrilling fantasy read and I'm definitely gonna add it to my TBR. Next to the book, we also got the bookmark with the same art as on the spoiler card, a beautiful art print. And I think this is Kiva, the main character and the mysterious inmates. And at the back, a letter from the author I will give you guys a close-up, just pause the screen if you want to read it. And of course, the first scoop with an interview with the author and at the back, next month's theme. And that will be Spellcraft. Isn't it so interesting how in stories there are different types of magic and different ways for spells to be cast? Casting spells and magic almost always comes at a price and depending on the toll, what would you be willing to sacrifice? In this box, you can expect items inspired by Serpent and Dove, Throne of Glass, Ray Bearer, Crave, and there will be an item that is not inspired by any fandoms. Honestly, I cannot wait. I am so excited for the next box. That was everything in the April box themed hidden identities. I really enjoyed this box and by far my favorite item, and you, you already know this, are the metal bookends. This is so awesome. I love a good Lord of the Rings item and these just look amazing. I cannot wait to put them in my bookcase. As always, let me know your favorite item or maybe a least favorite item in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.